before I go to this, I have to remind you in this problem, in this problem that is working going on. In this case, in the next cases, in the next one, you are dealing only with nozzle. So inside the nozzle, there is no work coming in. But in this case, because it is an aircraft engine, you will have work coming in. And in fact, you need to calculate that. Right? You need to calculate the work by the compressor. Okay, don't get confused because later on you will not find this kind of thing. Okay, in the next class, next week, all of the thing that we deal with is with the nozzle. Right? Nozzle, no work coming in, no heat coming out. Nozzle. This nozzle is adiabatic, eccentropic nozzle. Okay? But for these particular cases, I put one with the work. Okay, so don't get it uh, Okay, So you have aircraft engine. The inlet temperature is 255.7 Kelvin. Very low, minus 20 degrees C. Up there. Right. The pressure is 54.05 kilopascal and the velocity is 250 meter per second, so which is roughly about 800 kilometer per hour. Right. So you need to calculate the stagnation pressure at the inlet. How do you do that? Stagnation pressure at the inlet of the compressor. Just write it. You cannot calculate it. I do not know what to do. You are given those problems. Now you need to calculate the stagnation pressure at the compressor inlet. How do you do that? Which one you need to calculate first? T. E no, correct. You need to calculate the stagnation temperature. Once you calculate the stagnation temperature, you can calculate the pressure. Right? You calculate the T naught first. When you get your T zero or T naught, you get your P naught. Right? E zero, stagnation pressure. When you get your stagnation pressure, you can calculate your Yeah, 
that, give up that, and get that. Okay? Once you get your P naught, you can calculate your T naught to. When you calculate your T naught to, you can calculate the work by using this. Using this one. Q in and Q out is not there, cancel. So you get W in or yes. This is equal to CP D naught D naught. Z1 and Z2 is same. They are at the same elevation. So it's going to be zero. So you can calculate W in is equal to P minus PO2, PO1. Okay, so that's how you calculate it. But remember that one is only the compressor, compressor side. You haven't have this side, okay? And if you look at the gas turbine, the compressor can be as much as 20 stage, whereas the turbine can be as much as 40 stage, which means you have 40 to live. Right? Any question? No question? Okay, so that's all for today.